It was supposed to be a fun night out with friends, but it ended in tragedy. A 17 year old boy fell to his death climbing a fence along the 6th Street Bridge. Police say the teen was live streaming when he fell and the incident was part of a social media stunt gone wrong. But the boy's father says it was an accident, a kid just being a kid. Samantha Cortese is live in Boyle Heights with more on how the 17 year old is being remembered tonight. Sam. Sharon, Micah, we spoke with that victim's father, Paul. They live in Oxnard in Ventura County, but he said he had to come down here. We're at Mission Street under the bridge. This is where his son took his final breath. There's a makeshift memorial here, but this is where he slipped and fell. And the father says not only was he not live streaming, he didn't have his phone and it was not a stunt. Family and friends are remembering high school senior, 17-year-old Anthony Luna. He was just a joker. Like, you guys have no idea. Early Saturday morning before 3 a.m., Luna, whose nickname was Moon, was hanging out with his friends here at the popular and lately infamous 6th Street Bridge. His friends were climbing over the gate to get to the bridge. Someone was taking a video when Anthony slipped. His dad, Paul Luna, said he watched the video of his son's final moments. It shows the three boys going over that fence right there where you guys are at now. Um, the other two boys are up ahead going over that arch. And then my son's trying to catch up to them. And then when the camera's there, it pans up to the other two dudes up ahead. And then when it comes back this way, my son's no longer there anymore. He slipped. The memorial is growing with 805 beer representing Ventura County and graffiti that reads LLA, Long Live Anthony, and Face in Woods. His dad says that was Anthony's music name. Paul says his son and their friends loved riding bicycles, and this wasn't a stunt for social media. It wasn't no social media stunt. He wasn't doing it for likes. He wasn't doing it for that good picture or his Instagram, any of that stuff. He didn't even care about social media, to be honest. Paul said he loves Anthony's friends, who are also struggling with the trauma of losing a loved one in an instant. It was literally just an accident, you know, and um, he was out with his friends, you know, having a good time, being a 17-year-old kid, getting ready to graduate. <clears throat> I couldn't be any more proud as a father. Paul says that friend group lost another friend just a couple years ago riding their bicycles when he was hit by a car. So this friend group is dealing with another loss just as they're about to graduate high school. And he says he would like the community to come together to give his son a proper burial. The GoFundMe is linked on our website, KTLA.com. In Boyle Heights, Samantha Cortese, KTLA 5 News. Sam, thank you.